sitting on That man right there, Carlos Santana, first burst onto the music scene at Woodstock. Now, three decades later, he's made rock history with his album, Supernatural, which won a record nine Grammys, including Album and Record of the Year. It is the biggest music story in a long time. Carlos Santana, welcome back to today. Great to have you here. Thank you. Thanks for inviting me. Someone forgot to explain the rules to you, Carlos. What happens is you're supposed to do Woodstock, and then somewhere in the 70s or 80s, you're supposed to disappear and never be heard from again. Can you explain how this year has been for you? Uh, it's phenomenal. That's the word that kept popping up because I think I haven't think, seen anything like this since the Bill Cosby show in the 80s where grandparents, parents, teenagers, and little children, uh, they all become like a unity kind of thing. And uh, uh, it's a real phenomenon to get Apaches, American Indians, and, and Hebrews, and Japanese, and they're all with it. Uh, they all uh, are tuned to that resonance, you know. When you, when you get this kind of attention, and you are white hot again, which you are, in the spotlight, does it feel different this time around? Because you've experienced this before. By the grace of God, yes. Th this time it feels more, uh, the, the term that I'm learning from Carlos Castaneda is that you make the world stop, and you can see clearly. You know, but before everything was a blur and you don't enjoy or taste anything. Now the hug is complete, the note is complete, you know, and, and uh, the purpose is, is that, um, you know, I received a phone call from Mr. Uh, Harry Balafonte, and, and uh, he and Mr. Nelson Mandela, they, they want to work with me, and, or, or, you know, invite me to work with them uh, to do things for the AIDS thing in, in, in Africa. So it's a higher purpose than just selling albums or entertainment or anything like that. You know, th this, this supernatural thing is, we just opened the door. We haven't even walked in yet. But what's amazing, though, is that, you know, you wanted to make an album, this supernatural album. And from what I hear, the story goes, five record companies turned you down. They said, no, thank you. Then you got hooked back up with Clive Davis, who was a guy who signed you right. an awfully long time ago. How does it feel when you know you've had this kind of success and all of a sudden, you can only find one guy who wants to make an album and take a chance on you. It feels great because, you know, when you, when you feel naturally that you have a masterpiece in your belly, you know... You like, knew it. Yeah, yeah I knew. I, I told people like five years ago, I feel there's a masterpiece in my belly, like Marvin Gaye was going on or Bob Marley's Exodus. There's a ma but, but I need to get pregnant, if, if you will, with other people's uh, passion and vision and, and songs. Uh, my, heart, my heart and my mind were wide open. So, so the ego never got in the way, and this, this is how it happened. It you became an all-inclusive You thing. talk about the passion of other people. You work with a lot of younger artist yes. on, artists on this, on this album. They get instant credibility from working with you. What do you get from them? Oh, a lot of inspiration, a lot of clarity. Uh, I, I love being in the studio with uh, my sister Lauren Hill, Dave Matthews. Each one brought a whole new dimension about how to approach uh, music that reaches the heart. You know, because they're, they're, they're very uh, attuned to today's time. And, and so what I learned that is the same thing for Frank Sinatra or Barbara Streisand or Miles Davis or Prince, you still need a song. And if you got the right song, then you go, you go in people's hearts and, you know, people don't trip on how old you are. Is the song good or not? The it's good, the song. The good news is you've, you've had a heck of a year. The bad news is now people are going to look and go, Carlos, what are you going to do for an encore? Uh, for an encore, I'm going to become daddy husband uh, from uh, the middle of October all the way to next May. No, no plan, just stay home with the family. No Santana, no Carlos, just daddy husband, you know, and just uh, uh, learn. Uh, there's a rhythm called domestic rhythm that a lot of musicians fail, you know, and to me it's really important to, I want to be father of, father of the year. That's more important to me than anything else, you know. So I feel really grateful that now I got the opportunity to actually uh, do that. Well, you've been so nice to us over the years coming back to play for us, and, and it's a thrill for us to have yeah, you back thanks for this year, and you're going to play for us in our entire last half hour. Carlos, thanks. Great Thank seeing you. you. Congratulations. 7.51. We're back with more on today on a Friday morning, right after these messages. We're back at 8 o'clock on this Friday morning, the fourth day of August, the year 2000, and you're looking at a live shot from Chopper 4, high above, well, not too high above Manhattan, cloud cover, so he's sort of flying low. And meanwhile, in our neck of the woods, the area is packed with Santana fans. The Grammy award-winning Carlos Santana will rock the plaza in our final half hour this morning 
as our summer concert series continues. saying it's kind of nice to see people in their 40s and their 50s and probably some 60 year olds out there and then teenagers also who are listening to Carlos for the first time. And what a nice guy, right? Everybody nice. around here is crazy about him. Meanwhile, I'm Katie Couric along with Matt Lauer and Al Roker. He I used to be in Cleveland, you said? Oh, that's very nice. I used to watch you all the time. Well, thank you. You were probably about two years old. I was, I was little. <laughs> Thanks for coming down. All right, still coming up in a, less than a half hour, we've got Santana. Back the All right, Al, thank you very much. Coming up next, Gene Chatsky. It is the first day of August in the year 2000. Take a gander at the size of the crowd gathered outside Studio 1A and Rockefeller Center. Of course, it's part of our summer concert series. And this morning, these folks have been gathering for the music of Carlos Santana. And he's coming up in just a few minutes. What a year this guy has had. I mean, he swept the Grammy Awards. His album, Supernatural, took home nine Grammy Awards, and then it went on to sell 20 million copies worldwide. That makes it his very first album to go what they call diamond in the music industry. Oh, you are so in the know. <laughs> I'm very, very impressed. And of course, this has been a huge year for the artist currently and formerly known, and he and the rest of the gang will be performing for the entire half hour. That's right, they're gonna start in just a few minutes. Of course, this is not the first time he's been here. He's been very gracious in appearing in our summer concert tour in the past, and we're awfully happy to have him here. But right now, let's find out where Mr. Roker is as part of this huge crowd, Al. I'm right in front of the stage, Matt. I'm, I'm setting up my spot. Well, we got a, a, a little Santana fan here. It says, I love Santana. What's your name? Tyler. Tyler, where are you from? New York. New York, and you've got some of Smooth and Maria Maria. Very nice. Who brought you down here? My mom. Your mom? Oh, you dropped your pen. Hold on. There you go. Where's mom? Hi, mom. Hi. You're a nice mom. You're a big Santana fan, yes, too, right? Yes, indeed. And not two generations of Santana Absolutely. fans. Absolutely. That's We're great. To be here. Well, thank you for coming down. We appreciate that. Let's find out about your weather in this half hour. Look at your weekend. Here in the east, looks pretty good. Heavy thunderstorms in western Great Lakes. Out in the plains in the southwest, unfortunately, heat-based thunderstorms again. Then for Sunday, Sunday, we're looking at more heat. Out in the southwest, the heat-based thunderstorms again, the wet weather from the Great Lakes all the way down to the southeast and Gulf Coast, which is good news for them because they've been having drought conditions and they could really use the rain. That's what's going on around the country. Here's what's happening in your neck of the woods. All right, Al, thanks. 68 degrees, a cloudy sky right now. The fog's starting to lift, and eventually we'll burn some holes through the cloud cover by tonight. They're heading out to the stadium. Yanks uh, taking on the Mariners, I believe, from Seattle. It looks like things will start to clear on up. We'll drop the humidity, we'll drop the temperatures from upper 70s to low 70s. We'll reach a high today in the low 80s with some breaks of sun by the afternoon. Tonight, comfortable upper 60s, the overnight low. Low 80s tomorrow with sunshine, low humidity. More of the same on Sunday, although a bit more sticky in the afternoon. Very warm and muggy for Monday and Tuesday. Temperatures well into the 80s. And just Idaho loves our camera people, Barry and Jimmy. There, okay, that's Barry. We got a shot of Barry there, okay. And now uh, Barry shooting Jimmy. There's Jimmy. All right. And, of course, they're now both going to shoot Carlos Santana. Yeah! Oh, let's go back over to Katie. In fact, up next, the music of Carlos Santana. But first, this is today on NBC. So summer concert series is brought to you by me, the incredible edible egg. You know the expression, good things happen to good people? Well, great things have been happening to a great guy this year. Carlos Santana has had a better year than anyone else in the music industry. His new album has sold 20 million copies, and he's nice enough to join us this morning for our summer concert series. Carlos, great to have you here. Thank you. Nice to be here. When you look out at the young faces in the crowd and you hear them talk about you, and they say, yeah, Carlos Santana, he's the guy who does Smooth and Maria Maria, and they may not know about some of your older music. How does that make you feel? I feel very grateful, you know, because... Uh, Obviously, we have a resonance that uh, transcends generation gap or anything like that. Well, they're loving you, and we're loving you for coming back. You're going to start us Thank off with so Yaleo? Sure, it's a happy song. Ladies and gentlemen, Carlos Santana.
This is today on NBC. Yeah. 